He was the powerful head of a local union entrusted with the funds, the dues of hundreds of boilermakers, but the government says he stole more than a million dollars. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan first told you of the abuse and was there as Ray Ventrone entered a plea today. Ray Ventrone had nothing to say entering federal court and pleading guilty to tax evasion and stealing one and a half million dollars in funds and property from local boilermakers union 154, the union he ran for 19 years. But in court, the government told a tale of wretched excess, with Ventrone using union dues as his own personal piggy bank, spending even more than that on luxury items much or most of it ending up in the hands of himself and his family. Nine truckloads of those purchases, including luxury furniture, treadmills and Nautilus machines, and tens of thousands of dollars in musical equipment were recovered by the union and auctioned off in May, items enough to fill an entire warehouse. You could furnish a couple of nightclubs and a couple of houses and a gym. And a music studio. But while the union was able to recoup several hundred thousand dollars from the sale as part of the plea agreement, Ventron will need to pay two million dollars more in restitution. According to the same plea, he faces between three and four years in prison. Ventron was released on his own recognizance and will be sentenced in January. And this at six o'clock for now reporting on Grant Street, Andy Sheehan, KDKA TV News.